as well. Hello everyone, it is Episek here, and today it is the 10th day of the Christmas Dano with Episek. So today I have something big for you, and it's actually pretty complicated on the Redstone side too. So it is a gingerbread combination lock. So as you can see, you have three buttons right here. When I press one of them, one of the buttons on the gingerbread chest changes. And when you press the button on the left, the bottom one changes. When you press the button on the middle, in the middle, the middle one changes. And when you press the button on the right side, the top button changes. Very straightforward. So let me mix it up a little bit. Yeah, like that. And the correct combination lock combination combination for that is red, yellow and green. So this one is already yellow, but just to show you it also changes color. Yeah, like that. So I will click click at the combination right. So you can see what I have done after the combination is right. And there we have the green. And that was the correct combination for our gingerbread combination lock. Of course you can hook it up to whatever door to whatever door you want and it will work just as fine. I won't show you how to build that gingerbread neither how I how you can build that song because other people have done tutorials on these two things. So these two videos will, will be in the description. But what I will show you is how to make all the redstone on the back as well as on the bottom. So let's start with with getting all the snow out of the way. So we will get to that thing later. But first, how we actually change the visuals? Well, this is a very complicated piston fit tape, and it basically retracts the block here. The that double piston extender retracts the block there and then it's just a standard feed tape and it has also and it also needs to be two blocks high and it make uh, and it cannot interrupt with the other modules <coughs> so that was pretty difficult to make but at the end of the day I did it so how does the system know which button to change? Well, as you can see, these are all connected with a normal redstone wire, and then we get the signal across using comparators, so that the signal strength is the same. And then here we have a normal redstone slab. Um, I don't know what, slab tower, there we go. <coughs> then we basically compare the signal with those comparators and see which of the two, three buttons has been pressed. So this is all for the visuals. Now, to make the gingerbread actually know which combination is right and which combination is there right now, we have to use this system right there. So, as you can see, we have some repeater counters right there. Every single one is hooked up to a different button. For example, this one is equal to this button. And as you can see, when we press that button, the signal goes one repeater further than it already is. So when you press the button four times, one, two, three, four, the signal will come back to where it was when I show it to you. So the button, the thing, the redstone wire will be powered. Powering that redstone torch, and when all those torches are unpowered, then this redstone signal, this redstone wire will be off, 
meaning that the combination is right. You can also invert it with another redstone torch. And then you can run it into a draw. So when the combination is right, that redstone will turn on and you will be able to open a door or whatever. So I think that is everything that has to be explained. And now I would like to show you how to build this. All right, welcome back. For you, it was probably like two seconds or so, but for me, it was like, what? One or two weeks since I last seen you. So, I had the proportion of this thing, the like the quantity, but I lost it. So whatever. You will just need some observers, like a lot of observers, a lot of redstone, redstone repeaters, redstone comparators, redstone torches, sticky pistons, normal pistons, furnaces, block of blocks of redstone, and a lot of wiring blocks. Just so that you know. So I will start here by placing those buttons on the same level as his feet. And wait a second. Is my audio wrong? Wait a second. Oh, there we go. My audio is working out. So this is the level that his feet end on. Like, yeah, you get what I mean. And this is where your floor will be. So, from the central block that is here, you have to go out one, two, three, like that, and then place three blocks like that with buttons on top of them. And then, then that will be fun. We place one single red wire below these blocks. And now here, you will have to place a comparator on the furthest piece of redstone away to the right. Then this will be found. Put a block there, redstone there, not a furnace there, block there. Comparator there. Another piece of redstone. Sorry, that's annoying me, but I set another piece of redstone and then yet another block and another comparator, another block, and this time we go to the side and put the piece of redstone there. Then we put another block, like see, it's one comparator, one piece of redstone, one comparator, one piece of redstone, that is. Yeah, three comparators in a line like that, with pieces of redstone in between. Then we go to the side. And then... We... yeah, exactly. We just need to place one last comparator right here. If you don't know what that's all for, it is so that we can later check which button has been actually pressed. Because, as you can see, when you press that button, this piece of redstone has less strength than when it has right now or right now. You can really see it because it's very, very, very close. But we will be able to check that using comparators and some furnace magic. Anyway, we'll now have to place a slab tower there. <coughs> Sorry for that. So, just place a block there. I use slabs because it will look nicer when we will actually have ground here. Like, for example, snow. You can actually place that now already. Just fill one, two, three. All the way to fill one, two, three. Snow. See, so that's how it will look. So you won't see all the comparator mess. That would be really stupid. So that will look like that, but you will eventually see that slab block there 
and it's better that slab instead of an armor block because as I already said we will have a slab tower right here just press slabs like that going up and up and up yeah so we'll need that block right there which I already have go one block back and yet another block back like so that is my audio being recorded it is perfect and then we just go back and forth just like this how many times well, it's one two three four five and that's the first yeah like milestone march six that was later so six this is our first station and seven eight nine ten so right here seven eight our second here, nine and ten now we'll some on all of these so as i said these are our three different stations and by station i mean one unit that will change or be responsive for changing of one of those buttons each so when we press that button this one will change when we press the middle button this one will change and we press the red button this one will change oh, oh that's why we have to move the whole torch tower one block backwards not very fun thing to do but yeah sorry for messing that up it has been like i said two weeks since i recorded the last segment and whoopsie whoops so yeah you got this one there you go one out with the computer and the last computer that you will ever need then there will be that slap madness just like this so it's gone one one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now that should be all all right is it like let me check is, is this lined up with that it kind of is kind of all right now i'm back now this should be all everything all perfectly fine of course you have to put the redstone here just like that and we'll start with our first station that was annoying me um, i will now need the torch oh there it is so yeah you need to go here's your back one two one two one two one two one two like five times like that and the third one from the top is where you have to press your comparator. And now is where the madness will begin. So I think I will start with pistons and then do the whole wiring around it. So here we need a double piston extender then here we will need a normal piston or actually is it no it is perfect a normal piston there we are basically making a piston fit tape in fact a really compact one and this is actually really really confusing believe me you will see later on when it's actually all done and dusted how confusing it was so we go there and that thing should be there why isn't it so frustrating there 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 we will need a block there yeah that's how it should be and that piston will be there It may look still very very confusing to you, but it will all become clear in just in just a second. So imagine this as your as your standard piston feed tape where that piston pushes those blocks here. That piston pushes those two blocks there 
that piston gets one of those blocks and those two blocks get pushed there and that's our setup basically like this will be in there four blocks or five blocks I can't really remember but I know that all of these have to go one block up like that, like that, just like this perfect, the double piston extender goes up two and I wonder what I have messed up again this time Oh, so, it, so that's it. Yeah, I am just really confused by this myself. I only have like, what, five screenshots of this. And I am trying my best to replicate it just as I did in my zoom testing world. This will be all for the wiring. I will explain this later. But we will need just one more piston, like there. And then we will need like a few pistons under the whole thing. So like one piston there, that will power this piston, as well as one other piston right there. So power this thing. And these are all the pistons that we will need. So, I can now finally explain to you. This is where your button sits, and you will need one piston that retracts it. Like that. All very simple stuff. And you will activate this using a piston with observer below it. So go down, then to the side. Place your piston there with your observer with its output on the top so that you can power this piston very easily. Then, right here, like dut, dut, you will have a normal piston and you do the same thing as with this one that is that piston here and an observer there. Then, right next to that piston, you will have a double piston extender. Then, you go two to the side. And we have a normal piston, one back, one to the right, a sticky piston, and now, like here, where this is where your button will be retracted, go to the right, one, two, and this is where your under sticky piston will be facing that way, because it, after all, it's just a redstone or rather piston fit tape. Now we can finally do the wiring. So this is your comparator, going from 1, 2, 3, the third from top, like third pair of slabs from top, <coughs> facing into, uh, giving its signal into a repeater, and then out of there, you will have three pieces of redstone like that, and repeaters to one tick there, repeater, re another repeaters to one tick there, Replace it to two ticks right here. Then here, a repeater is set to one tick. A repeater is set to four ticks. And a repeater is set to two ticks. Then you will need redstone here. And another repeater set to two ticks. Then that will be running in a red block with redstone torch on it. That torch will be inverted signal that will go there. What is delay here? Torch there. Redstone there. Redstone there. And. Then we will need a slab somewhere. Confusing stuff as I already said. But like two pieces of redstone there so that to power this piston. As well as this piston. Although that piston is powered by that redstone torch. So it doesn't really matter. Now place a slab there. And that redstone piece will be powered by that torch. And then those two pieces will be powered or just that one. And now on the other side, we will just need to put one 
redstone torch like that and this is actually everything done i can't believe this myself like nah not everything it's just one of three units and then we can need all the secret shit there and all the other composite stuff but we can now finally finally put the blocks in our head fit some fit type that will go like so you have one block in your gingerbread then one block to the side like there another block um where is that here another block there and yet another block i will say i don't know white does white look right here no because we already have some white so green green looks pretty nice is that where green should go it is so we will have one two three four five colors in our unit so there will be five colors in each of these buttons that is simple math i don't know but if you know how many combinations is tell me in the comments below i knew it before but today it's so late that i can't think anymore it's like five to the power of three yeah i think so i think so that will be 25 times 5, that is 125. 125 combinations, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, 125 combinations. Or my brain is just not wanting to work today. Anyway, we can now test this unit out. So I will just place a block with a lever right there. Click that. And I click that. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This pistol has to have an observer there, and you will need a block there. I will actually use. Now nah, I will choose red. So I will now have to repair all of this. This will just go here, and this will go magenta, 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 magenta. Magenta will go there. Green will go there, and that should be everything done. Now. There we go, green. Previously it was red, now it is green. So the unit works. We can now copy it over to the two top stations right there. I could use the clone command, but I will just quickly do this with a speeded mode that you are not getting bored. But in case you need some help with doing that, you can always slow it down in the YouTube settings. So pro by now I should probably be done, I don't know, because I am talking whilst building this thing, but when I edit this I probably speed the building up i mean the building process and then i will be talking in the background so anyway i wanted to say we already have all the pistons but if i speed it all up then it won't make any sense to you and it's probably way too boring to leave it slow like that all right i'm back so my computer was acting uh, very weirdly, so I have to restart it. And yeah, there is a lot of cutting out to do or to be done. I have like 30 minutes of recording and it's only the building of it. Why are the clouds on? The clouds. Eh, I leave them on. I usually don't like clouds in Minecraft, but well, they're actually pretty cool. So, basically what you have to do is on the first, this bottom station, make a loop going round like that with a repeater on its end facing into that comparator or giving its signal into that comparator. And we will do almost the same here 
down a different ping that we place the repeater there. And also I think we have to set those repeaters to a different mode. I will check that in just a second when my clown turns on. But <coughs> we will definitely need to run compartors into those two other compartors on those two top stations. And then you will put furnaces right here. Yeah, so it looks like these two have to be on subtraction mode. And now this will be fun. Or not really. Because I forgot how many items we have to put in there. Basically put 64 pieces in those furnaces. Doesn't matter what it is. And now we will check and see if it works and how, how we have to change the number of items there. So now the first one should work. The first one does not work. Why does the first one not work? Let's try that out. Yeah, I think the loop has to actually be bigger. Of course it does. <sighs> Let's see the damage to the system. It actually looks fine from here. And it looks terrible here. Oh man. Oh boy. This is a very very sensitive mechanism. So like quantic poses and stuff like that. They break it. But when that happens you just have to kind of rebuild the whole piston, 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 a ward here, put a ward here, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, a piston, yeah, just the piston, piston mechanism or piston feed tape, really simply, but, if that's the, then we should put that on here, but we can now see that when we press this lever and unflick it, the color changes. Sweet, so the bottom one works. It also works with the button as well. Why wouldn't it? There we go. Now the middle one. As you can see, the bottom one shouldn't actually do anything, but the top one did. Oh, wow. Wow, that is a good sign. The middle one works too. Yeah. So we just need to put like 64 um, pieces of whatever in there. Like red concrete for example. And we will see if that loop works in just a second. Now we have to check this one. Nothing happens. That's a good sign. That means that this loop works. And let's lock that comparator. Now we have to take items out of here. So 32 until it is on and then put items in for as long as it stays on. And then when it goes off, oops. Then that is when it like fires. So it's 54, isn't it? And 52 is too much. Perfect. So 64 items in that furnace, 54 items in that top furnace. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, this works beautifully. Like, I'll quickly get some random combination that I will use later. As the right combination. Let's get yellow here. Now it will be red, won't it? Now my, my mouse is starting to irritate me. I have to buy a new one. Anyway. And there's yellow. Perfect. So now all we need to do is the logic circuitry that will tell us when the right combination is, yeah, is on the display. I will tell you what to do in just 
a few moments. Yes, so we will need to take compile outputs out of those three blocks. Or like there, there, and there. And now we will need to put redstone block on this side of every single one each. It's so like every single one has a redstone block on its side. And now we will basically need to do the counters. <coughs> so go off of the first one, put a block there. We will put a redstone block there. And now we'll make the actual counter, the repeater counter. I don't know how other people do counters, but this is a very, very good design. I really like it. I use it very often in various different circuits. And I will explain what you are supposed to do in just a second. So this is your Just put five blocks like that, put a redstone over it, and then put another five blocks there, and put repeaters over them. So we will not need to put five repeaters like that. This will all be locked. And you have to set them on two ticks each. And now you will loop it all like a so perfect. So that is one of those things done already. Now for setting it up when yeah just when you build this make sure you already have the right combination. You could put the combination uh, in later, but I'll do it now. Basically, you have to remove the piece of redstone here so that the first repeater is unlocked. Power it. Then put this back. Then remove this piece of redstone. And as soon as the signal gets to the last repeater, you have to quickly put this back. That it's locked there. Did it disappear? What? How is that possible? Oh well. Anyway. Yeah, let's try this again. I'll drag this. I'll unlock these. Remove this. Yeah, that worked too. So we can do that. Whoops, no. These have to be unlocked. Now we lock them. So basically what you have to do is to make the last one be powered and the other ones not. And then you lock all of them. <coughs> and you have to do this three times for every single one of these things. Now it's not only a redstone torch there because you also have two Oh no. No, I don't want to repeat all of this. It has to be on the side of the torch. Yep. Exactly. <sighs> so we just quickly, quickly destroy everything. Destroy everything. Would be better and more fun with TNT, but whatever. Power out repeater there. Lock it. Put those repeaters there. Lock those unpowered. Loop the signal like that. Those are supposed to be set on two ticks. And now you go out of this block. Repeater with four ticks. Rank it a block. And this is one of the counters all done. So as you can see, when I press this button, the signal goes one repeater further. And the same for all the presses. So as you see, as you will be able to see, when I get to the right color, the last repeater will get powered and locked. There's our magenta and the last repeater is powered. Perfect. 
Now we have to do the same thing two more times. So this one will be there, just like that. The torch is on the side though. Four and five. One, two, three, four and five. One, two, three, four and five. Then the counter itself. Pad out. Lock it. Do the same here. Or set two, two ticks. And loop it around like that. Perfect. And now the last one. Sh should be very easy to do. It's just mirroring. I think we have already built there. What is going on? One, two, three, four, five. Put redstone there. Then again, one, two, three, four, five. The counter itself will be here. Repeater there. Lock. Repeater is there. So now one, two, two ticks. Even more repeaters, also two, two ticks. Loop it round. Just like that. That is still supposed to be two ticks. And this is actually everything done, but we have to connect all of these with an AND gate. Just like this. And we now want to put blocks with redstone torches, like that. It doesn't really have to be a repeater, it can be just a piece of redstone will be cheaper and we now as our descent connect all of this up like that and when that wire is unpowered then that means that everything is one two three four five six seven eight that we have the right combination there and this is your output and that is your door. So I will now quickly scramble the combination. It will be all speed sped up as you can see right now. And there we go. This is of course the wrong combination. Now the top one was magenta that I know. Let's see, there's magenta. Is that right? Yes, it is. Look, that wire is on. This one was uh, yellow, perhaps. I think it was yellow. Is it, it is yellow. And now the last one. All right, I got a little bit interrupted there, but I think we're yeah one click away from the final combination. And as you can see, magenta, yellow, green, that's our combination, and our door is open. But this is everything for today, I hope the frame rate wasn't too bad, I have no clue what is going to be with my computer, but yeah, this may be one of my favorite contraptions, like this really, really complex, look at the secretary on the back. This is some compact stuff, I'm really proud on this. Yeah, really proud. And when you actually put the snow here, fill one to three all the way to one to three, you can actually see that it is really beautiful. Beautiful. Everything under the card except for the button mechanism, like the color switching itself. But as I said, that's all I got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you tomorrow.